Hi, welcome to free. The new year is coming, so I've been on vacation and I don't have a usual video for you today. Instead, I'm going to show you some pics of the trip I took. I, I went to Cusco and even though people speak Spanish and Quechua there, there are lots of tourists, so a lot of information is in English. So I took advantage of that and start um, and practiced my English. I wanted to share that with you to encourage you to practice you wherever you want. Here they are. So before the trip began, I had my boarding pass. And guess what? It was in English and Spanish. Usually when I get something like this, I read the English first. And well, if I don't get something, then I read the Spanish. And I, uh, even if I get it, I also read the Spanish, you know, to make sure uh, I know what I'm reading, uh, to, um, you know, confirm what I understood, and to just to, to compare, even to compare the translation. I do that a lot. So this was a way, a great way of starting with some English practice, even before the trip started. Then, as I told you, I traveled. I went to Cusco. Cusco is a great city, and uh, there are lots of tourists and lots of information in English, but not all the information is good. However, here I have a picture of a museum that I went to. Uh, it is actually an archaeological site, Coricancha. Uh, the name is in Quechua, but in the museum you had information both, again, in Spanish and in English. And I like this one a lot because they really made an effort to have good English. So it was a pleasure to read this because you could really understand there are some translations that are not really good for tourists. I mean, people don't even get it because they do, you know, the, the word by word translation and that is not good. Then on my trip, I went to different places. I didn't take so many pictures. I'm sorry about that. But I went to this town that was far away from Cusco City but I liked something there that they had some things on the walls. And uh, this, for example, is a wall, a wall that said, do me a favor and smile. And yes, I love this one. And also that is only in English. Also, <laughs> uh, you have no translation, but it's not difficult to, to understand for, for many people. And I like this. It was like a very natural, English that I found like in nature <laughs> that was pretty cool and last but not least I was uh, on my way to the train and you know there were lots of vendors as you can see here and all the information was also uh, in English in Spanish and in English and if you see closely I asked for a picture of this because I love the sandwiches and you have here a close-up and you have the sandwich, cheese and ham, and avocado and cheese. And it was very funny because people asked me, what is avocado? And I was like, it's right next to it. And also you have some spelling mistakes. And it's for me, it's just a fun thing to do. Well, that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. And subscribe.